Hey gang, Diana here today with some watercolor review books to review. Thanks for coming by and joining me. I The first one on the list is uh, Gina Rossi Armfield. I actually have two books by her and these were sent to me by Northlight um, at my request because I did want to review them. I like her style a lot. And there's a lot of animals in here, which I thought was really fun. She has a very loose style and a lot of drippage. And a, there's a, here's a very good um, section on materials and information on, you know, the typical information that you want on watercolors, paints, opacity, car, color charts, palette information. It's all in here travel kit and talks about choosing a palette and the various ways that you can use watercolors, various um, techniques that you can use. It's pretty much a basic book, uh, exercises. Here's the thing with the watercolor books. You choose a couple of them, look at their techniques, um, glance through them, decide uh, what uh, sort of you're attracted to. Now here she's, she's talking uh, about drawing first before painting and then painting in. So that's a little different. Um, I love, again, I love her birds and I, you know, I love blowing paint around. That's always fun for me. And uh, it's a nice book. I love that fox and that bird there. Very expressive. Very expressive. So we have also in here a bunch of palettes, and this is helpful. Uh, palettes uh, pertaining to a season. Here's a cute little pig and a palette drawn from this photograph. And that's a, that's a good thing to talk about. Here's a farm. So there's a good bit of information here. Uh, this is France. Now, I don't know if this is her painting because this doesn't look anything like her painting. That looks more like her painting. So anyway, you get the idea. It's a nice all-round watercolor, beginning watercolor book. And sure, you know, you're going to, uh, pick up a book you kind of feel lost and blank and you pick up a book like this you just leaf through it something catches your eye and you say okay polka dots excellent for its inspiration okay the next book here is called no excuses art journaling also by gina and this book was brought to my attention by a student and I had a few questions on my blog, and uh, I thought I'd respond, so I did ask them to send me a copy of the book. And it's a, it's kind of like a fusion of planner girl and mixed media artist. So we have a lot of the same information as in the No Excuses watercolor book. Basically, you're getting a look at what sort of things that Gina likes to use in her planner. She advises getting a leather planner or a soft bound planner. And then throughout this, there, uh, throughout this book, there are ideas about putting, adding an envelope to the planner. And there's lots of prompts in here, collage ideas, writing prompts, and there's also weekly tasks. If you really are drawn to that idea of, of working in a planner on a daily basis, I think this could be a good book for you. Uh, then each month there's a palette. And uh, I love these. This is really nice to have these palettes. And then you can put these inserts into your book. You can make a copy of that and put use it use the insert in your book so we go through and there's guest artists too jenny doe is in here 
and um, Jennifer. Uh, yeah. So it's a nice book, uh, Tracy Lynn. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> oh, I love Tracy. She's such a nice young woman. Um, and here's April's palette. It's very nice. And again, I think that you could go through this book and just pull an idea, or you could kind of really work along with this book for a full year. Painted Paper by Alyssa Golden. This may be one of my favorite all-time books. I've had it for quite a few years. I'm not going to bother looking, seeing when it's when it was published, but it's been a... Well, maybe I will. I thought it doesn't take me too long. 2008. So uh, this has been a great resource, and it is certainly looks it, too. Uh, Alyssa uh, Golden is a really fine book binder, and uh, she, the, the techniques in this book and the inspiration is fantastic. Uh, so my book binding mind loves it. My painter mind loves it. And uh, you can just flip through this book. I could flip through this book, and every page there's inspiration. I love that. I love that bright and that gray colors. When when you have that bouncing off each other, it's like autumn on a rainy day. It's just beautiful. A lot of techniques in here, dry brush techniques, different brush strokes here, and... Um, different tools, which certainly a lot of these things have been covered in many other books, but I just uh, particularly love this book. I love this page. It makes me, it makes my mouth water. Sort of technique. I really love this book. Have I said that? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might have said that a time or two. So uh, this comes highly recommended as stenciling. Um, that's is wonderful here. This is amazing here. I'm just full. I'm, I open it anywhere and you will have an idea. Thank you, Alyssa Golden. Let's move on. This is another book that I've had for a while called Water Paper Paint by Heather Smith Jones. And I did tend to buy a lot of books on watercolor when I was first learning. I didn't learn watercolor at school. I'm self-taught. And uh, this is 2011 from Quarry Books. Beautiful book, again. And full of... Ugh, yum. Yummy. Don't eat your paint. <laughs> Lots of great... Ooh, look at that. See, I mean, I could just just get inspired by looking at this book. And um, she's a big one with this drooling paint. So there's working wet into wet, working wet onto dry, different materials finding, using found materials to work with, and of course blowing paint. And I love this. Love this. Making marks. Here we're getting into realism. Um, which some of you might be interested in. And then like a really high key, low key, what that means. And then one of the things that I struggle with the most is using the white of the paper and very light washes. This is something I teach in my classes and can relate because it's a struggle for me. So and there's also some really mixed media techniques in here, which makes me really love this book. So this is highly recommended by me as well. So that does it for these uh, my book reviews today, and I I hope you enjoyed it. These two books, I'm so glad that a student recommended this author and artist because I think they're very nice books. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's so nice to have you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers once again, and thumbs up. See you soon.